This is Daily Blast Live. We're talking about what you're talking about. Get real. No. No. Y'all, y'all, this is stop. a sham. It's finally here. Drum roll. Welcome to DBL. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Yes. I just, Hi. I really got nothing for Tuesday. Just, you know, there. In my head, Tuesday is the lightest of blues. It's beautiful. Yeah, I think uh, Tuesday had its heyday when that song <laughs> going up on a Tuesday. That was like yeah, when Tuesday's no, heyday. There's a song and now about just, Tuesday? Wait, sing yeah. it a little bit. Sing it a little bit. Going up on, on a Tuesday. Tuesday. Remember that song? Isn't, I Love Mackinac, I think his name was. Dang, that's, yeah. that's a good poll. Did I say that I right? I don't think that that was the words, though. Going up. On a Tuesday, I think am I you're right, making Drew? no. Yes, thank you. All right, I'll give it to you, man. The I'm not questioning off. you. Okay. The beat. Well, off. there was no beat. That was a cappella. I apologize. Way and, to, it, and it was off. Way to get Tuesday <laughs> in like, Is we gonna party okay. like it's a Tuesday? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a song? No, oh. like it's your birthday. Oh, that's right. I was like, wait, that sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was. My subconscious like, I know that from somewhere. <laughs> well, All God. right, let's get to it, guys. <laughs> Welcome to Tuesday. Yep. There's more fallout from the allegations against Russell Brand. So after five women accused him of sexual assault, abuse, and rape, he postponed the remaining dates of his comedy tour in the UK. YouTube has suspended his channel, and the BBC has also pulled Russell's content off its platforms. Russell has denied all the allegations. Meantime, the tabloids are having a field day with this story. The Daily Mail posted an old clip of Russell on The Tonight Show and pointed out that Catherine McPhee looked uncomfortable when she sat on Russell's lap. But Catherine called out the Daily Mail on Instagram writing, quote, the incident was over 10 years ago and it was harmless. Please don't try to use me for whatever purpose you are trying to serve. But here's the question. Are we seeing Russell Brand being canceled in real time? Yeah. Yes. And, you know, we as we get into this, I, I do think that we need to understand we're having two different conversations here, one about Russell Brand and one about just the general concept of what has happened to him. Uh, Russell Brand, I don't know if these accusations are true. I, you know, believe the victims. But at the same time, if we are going to go with the believe the victims, then we have to also give Russell Brand or anybody that's accused that same leeway and also let the investigation play out. But we kind of have these conversations like it's still 1985, where this is going to go through the court, maybe be in the newspaper a little bit. But now if you accuse somebody of something, it's all over the place immediately. So you're guilty no matter what the courts say, I do even if they get involved. I do want to put the, like, the, in perspective, the police aren't looking into this. Right. It's a media investigation. We cleared That's, that up yesterday. And that yesterday. just furthers to my point. But it's, when you say investigation, I think a lot of people think the police are involved. They right. are not at this point. I just want to be right. clear about Thank that. You. Yeah. Um, I, it's tricky, because I, 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 I also want to believe those people, but I do want to say if you are a journalist and you do print something that is wrong or malicious or reckless dis disregard for the truth, you can be sued. So there is a lane here for him to take if he feels he's being defamed in public and he's allowed to take that lane. So the reason I say that is the journalist wouldn't have published this if they hadn't been checked double checked, triple checked, because their entire group of their newspaper could be sued you, are for you, defamation. Are you referring to the Daily Mail? No, I'm talking about all the groups of people, the, I think, six different journalists that came together to find this investigative uh, report with the five women. What do you think about the quote unquote piling on? as the Daily Mail might be doing. What do you think about that? Do you think that's journalistic? No, not at all. And, also, and, and Not at all. And I don't think I can consider them a journalistic integrity, but not at all. I think there's a campaign against him out against the Daily Mail because there's lots of clips of him saying really racy things and it gets clicks. I want Erica, I definitely want to hear your point of view. Do you think any of this has to do with his point of view on politics or things going on, COVID, anything like that? Do you think anything could be related? I don't think the original no. investigative report from the media and journalists were, but perhaps the Daily Mail that's saying stuff like shocking grooming allegations against Russell Brand. He spent four years grooming him online. There's a cult. He stalked me down the street. Those might be from it, but the original investigative journalists have credible backgrounds and I believe their integrity. Mm. Yeah, I don't know anything. I haven't heard about Russell Brand since... Or he and Katy Perry broke up. Like to be quite honest, I, I had He's gone on a YouTube thing where he's right, become and huge. I, and I understand that. Right, right, right. Um it's interesting because it's like on one hand, I'm very much like I believe victims. I understand that this was a 
the situation that went so rogue for so many different reasons. Um, I do believe that the um, the investigations must happen. We can't just indict people, which for has sure. happened, right. and it's been disastrous for a lot of people. Um, that being said, I think the Daily Mail angle really, for anybody who doesn't believe or believes that he's innocent or shouldn't be treated this way, is really not helping. I agree. The victims. I agree. Who are coming. From. I agree. Because it does, it does make people question. Totally. The whole what thing. What is the point here? Is it something that's a personal vendetta against him? Right. Or is this or real? Or is it due to what the allegations are? Right. And two and different it gets journalists. Very murky because the Daily Mail doesn't have a great reputation. Exactly. Um, for using discernment. I just don't want to conflate that with the original. I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I think this is the tip of the iceberg. I think we'll continue to talk. I about agree this with you. As the week goes on. Yep. How about this story? Real Housewives of Orange County, Shannon Bedore was arrested over the weekend. Sharon Shannon was booked for a DUI and a hit and run. This video obtained by TMZ seems to show Shannon's oh car goodness. turning a corner and then crashing into the side of a home. TMZ says Shannon drove off, parked her car in the middle of the street. She got out and told police she was walking her dog. <laughs> Here are some more pics of the damage. The car hit a concrete planter and oh appears goodness. to have taken out a small tree. Nobody was hurt, which is kind of why I'm giggling because the excuse of you got out after all this is wrecked and said I was walking my dog is kind of funny. And you said nobody the car, got hurt. It's a very nobody got hurt. It it's is. a very drunken. And you said like, the car movie. was still smoking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In my mind, it's, I'm picturing a movie, and you just get out and walk your dog and be like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Kind of, kind of funny. And uh, it also shows you how gone you are to yeah. think that, that excuse yeah. will well, work. Well, but the thing is, we've seen her be gone, and many we've times we've seen her be gone. We've saw her be gone like last I, week. I, I don't know her like that. Yeah. I don't watch the show, so I don't want to like make fun of it. She does have a problem. Yes. No. Well, here's the thing. So Shannon Bedore on Real Housewives of Orange County. Um, there was a situation that played out with another housewife, Gina, who got a DUI and Shannon helped her. And Shannon has brought that up. You know, I've introduced you to the attorney. I did this, I did that. And really had this whole savior thing for her. And then lately in the past couple episodes alluded that CPS would have come and taken her children had she not gotten involved. So the irony yeah, that bad. Shannon would end up with a DUI and her dog was in the car and apparently had to be taken for some time while she was detained um, is just like the most housewives of housewives thing to ever happen. That also being said, I do think this is a teachable moment for a lot of people because I have been feeling very uncomfortable watching this woman spiral out I, of control. I, I have to. It, and it's not like a normal housewife spiral. It's like something where it feels very dark. Mm. So anytime you have someone who's going through a lot of transitions, like in this situation, she breaks up with her boyfriend. Her three children have left the house. She's literally by herself. She gets really dark. Her boyfriend and her seem to be drinking buddies. You can't talk about their relationship. Check on your friends. Yeah, yeah. Because this is like the top time. I remember when my life could have gone one way or the other, it was when everything that I had ever known had changed just like that. Yeah, yeah. And it really can, that can happen. It's red flags all over the exactly. place here. Yeah, I agree with you. And okay. to be honest with you, it could have been much, much it, worse. Yes, so if you're going to learn, learn from this. That's right. Good. Good job pointing that out. It wasn't smooth. I'm going to find DBL. Our interview with Dancing Pros, Max and PETA. What does PETA think of being paired with Barry Williams, a.k.a. Greg Brady, plus Chrissy Teigen and John Legend celebrate their 10th anniversary in Lake Como? Huh? Are vowel renewals too over the top? I'm just trying to make No, 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 but I have a joke. I got a joke. Okay. Um, Are you about to read it off of the Yeah. Why don't we I don't get this. Off? How do you hire a horse? I don't know. You put it up a ladder. That's weird. Anyways, I have a joke too. Have you listened to Al's new al album yet? Yes, my new comedy album. And he has like ah, he has multiple jokes. Yeah. Hey, Emily, what's the oh name? Where can we get it? Yes. Uh, you
you can get on all streaming platform services. It's called In Earnest. I filmed it in Chicago, and uh, I'm super excited about it. We're going to do a whole thing on DVL, but I appreciate your rage. You know, my family, my Al brother. doesn't read uh, jokes off of a screen. Yeah. Yeah, that's because <laughs> he's a so. comic with a big C. I'm a comic with a little C. Um, why In Earnest? Uh, I named it after my friend Ernest that passed away. Uh, his daughter is a state wrestling champ. You guys all said what's up to her a couple of years ago. He was a great guy. Uh, it had a weird complication with some medication. It was just gone be, be way before his time. But a great guy. His legacy lives on through his daughter. He was like a tough, hard-nosed guy, construction worker. And uh, a lot of those jokes I thought about and things I went through during COVID. So I feel like it was a tough time for everybody, but like you find the humor and everything. So ironically, uh, yesterday, yes, Sunday was the um, one-year anniversary of his past. So yeah, yeah, such a, yes, the earnest and pick up in earnest by Al Jackson on all streaming platforms. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. That is so exciting. Yeah. I think right now comedians, when I want to go and listen to real transparency, and again, your name of it in earnest, you're gonna, I don't know, you're gonna get something deeper than most people, most things. So yeah. I, I'm very excited to listen to it. Welcome back, especially because Chrissy, or Chrissy, <laughs> Tori, I'm reading this. Let's just stick to the script. Welcome back. Chrissy Teigen and her family are all partied out. Chrissy recently posted this video showing John and their kids looking tired in an airport lounge on their way home from Italy. You must be so burnt out. Yeah. Over the weekend, they renewed their vows in Lake Como and the same location. That's where they tied the knot 10 years ago. They're all pooped out. Well, Jeff, Ooh. I want to go to you on this because you have a lot of thoughts about... <laughs> Wedding I'm not renewal. big. Romance. I'm not big. Listen, here, I'll give you my two cents real quickly. We didn't have a proper wedding, right? We just were in the courthouse. If I could afford to go to Lake Como and use as an excuse to renew my vows, you sign would. me up. Yeah, yeah. Sign me mm -hmm. up. But I know you think it's like a bad omen. Well, Chrissy, Chrissy Teigen, what are we doing here? Mm. First of all, <laughs> as a Bravo holic, as the star Bravo holic, girl, you know better than to have a vow renewal, okay? Every Bravo star has had a vow renewal and then they get divorced. Like, it's the kiss of death. So, girl, what are we doing? <laughs> like, she knows better. Well, here's somebody. But on the other hand, we're very happy for them. <laughs> 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 Somebody's got to break the streak, right? Yeah. Well, here's my thing. I'm turning. I have a 10th anniversary coming up for my wedding in October, and I never liked my dress. And I would like to have one just to get a dress. But does it have anything to do with the vows or just the dress? I'm not even joking. Like it could be. It, maybe if you just want new pictures. Yeah, that's what I mean. I really am disappointed, and I've spent a lot of time thinking about it. But really? maybe so you like, want to do this just for privately. Year. Yeah, just a private thing. Just get it. The dress of my dreams. You know what I mean? I was yeah, in bridal. We are late as heck. <laughs> okay, it's September 19th. You talk about some October for the dress yeah. of your well, dreams. Know, instead of like Lake, <laughs> instead of Lake Cuomo, maybe go to like the Filbert's Pond. And yeah. Celebrate that. <laughs> yeah, we can Photoshop Cheers. an AI the rest of the <laughs> Maybe that. But know. you know what I mean? I, I think some I people wonder, do it to refresh. I w yes, but I wonder. Are you gonna? I don't know. I thought, I think it's too late now, but man, I just maybe. You could still do we like could a, get you a, a dress. Getaway. Yeah, we I just really disappointed. The off the rack places. Which is where I used to work, and I bought this beautiful thing, and then I sold it, and I'm To be honest with you, I think you could do the vow renewal, but getting a dress, it's, that's a little over the you top. You can get a dress. I can do it. I got my dress off the rack. You're talking about a different off the rack. Yeah, this sample is like, get dress. Yeah, yeah, this isn't a sample. There's a lot of off the rack places okay. that you can get a very quality, beautiful dress. Great. Dresses. That's what I want. So if that's what you want, yeah. we will take you and Okay, get a thanks. Dress. Are you, thanks, are you planning on inviting people? What? Yeah, but not you. Oh, good. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm, I think I have COVID that I day. know yeah, you yeah. will. You will yeah. have COVID and pneumonia. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I have all that. And you know what? My throat, strep. I think I little bit, little bit of strep. Got it. Coming up on DBL. We're talking with dancing pros Max and Peta. They're weighing in on the new season of Dancing with the Stars. It is an amazing cast.
Bug zappers, they come in lots of different varieties. The goal, to electrocute bugs. Leslie S. emailed us asking if bug zappers kill mosquitoes. So the question, are bug zappers effective at controlling mosquitoes? Our sources, Sloan Black, owner of Mosquito Joe Southeast Charlotte, the American Mosquito Control Association, and the University of Delaware. Bug zappers do indeed kill mosquitoes, but it turns out they kill a lot more innocent bystanders. A study by the University of Delaware tracked six bug zappers over 10 weeks. Of the more than 13,000 insects killed during that time, only 31 were biting flies, including mosquitoes. That's about one-fifth of one percent. The American Mosquito Control Association noted similar results when they looked at Notre Dame research. Their study found over an entire season, bug zappers killed less than six and a half percent of mosquitoes. Black says that's because mosquitoes just aren't attracted to that blue UV light. If they did effectively kill mosquitoes, you would still just have all these new mosquitoes that are, you know, hatching all the time coming there. So what are mosquitoes attracted to? Sweat and perfumes for one and the carbon dioxide that we exhale. They have really good sense of smell and so they're attracted to things like the CO2 that we emit when we're breathing. He says it's way more effective to prevent mosquitoes before they hatch, which is why you should get rid of any standing water in the area. For mosquitoes, that's their breeding grounds. But you also have to address um, all the eggs that have been laid in water sources. So we can verify that no bug zappers are not truly effective at controlling mosquitoes. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bragg. Welcome back. Dancing sparked the love between professional dancers Max and Pita. We spoke with them earlier about the new season of Dancing with the Stars and what type of dance will spice up a relationship. Check it out. Please welcome fan favorites from Dancing with the Stars, Max and Pita. Yeah. We brought the dog. We well heard the dog's name is Hachi, and Hachi can actually dance. Is this true? <laughs> Yeah, he loves it. We hold his legs and he, he can stand by himself on his hind legs for such a long period of time. And can we actually, can actually he can actually squat. He can sit down. <laughs> How yeah. she yeah. does the cha cha. <laughs> Peter, Mazel Tov fans are so excited for you that you are back this season with Barry Williams, known as Greg oh, Brady, of course, as your partner. You uh, look at him dancing there. Also, you just had a baby in June. Mazel Tov. Congrats for both of you. But I want to know what your emotions are like heading back to the dance floor and just be as transparent as you feel um yeah i'm excited um that's the first word that yeah, comes to tough. mind um, it was definitely a big decision to come back because you know obviously it was only um i think i was eight weeks postpartum when i said yeah. yes straight into work and yeah there were a few difficult days there um you know where i had to really figure out you know scheduling wise you know we need help now we need the parents over we need a nanny you know there's different things that really needed to be set up before i could say yes um but ultimately i'm excited i have barry williams he is such a gem of a human to be with and um, i just feel really lucky that i get to do this again that's lovely that's awesome now max i'm coming to you with this you know people are retiring all the time and retiring are always looking for new hobbies. So if they want to spice up their relationship, what specific dance should they learn to kind of get it a little spicy? Yes. <laughs> wow, I actually didn't think that's what the question was. That was, that was a great I, question. I, I, saw, I saw you I lean forward. Like, now you're engaged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I would definitely, one million percent, without hesitation, start with the salsa. Mm. Uh, I 100% start with the salsa because it's, it's such an easy way to learn to follow both the yeah. steps and music. And plus it's everywhere, you know, you don't have to go look for it. It's not a polka, but you don't even know what to do. Right? I bet uh, but love. yeah, every time you hear Bad Bunny, you can salsa. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. I'm with it because there's a lot of uh, cute little salsa uh, clubs around here, so I need to learn. Okay, so <laughs> Pita, a lot of our viewers are old school and they like to send birthday cards in the mail. And Hallmark has a new way to celebrate the day, so tell us all about it. 
We are, yeah, we're really excited about this partnership. Um, it's a partnership between Hallmark and Venmo, and it's a first of its kind. So we're thrilled to be able to announce this, but inside a Hallmark card now, you have a QR code, which you can scan to be able to give somebody money in their Venmo Whoa. account. Oh, that's so that's smart. So smart. It's what? so smart. I mean, why didn't we think about this earlier, truly? Yeah. Um, it's the best way to be able to give, you know, a personalized card, which means a lot to me. That's something that I had to sort of coach Max on in our early parts of our relationship. You know, he's a big <laughs> gift giver, but he wasn't a big card giver. So I, I no, love... No, I was a card giver, but for me, a card was a glorified envelope for cash. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> love you. This much. Yes. And so, you know, for Peter, she would make me go back and write things in the card. Like, case in point, we're on vacation, and I'm like, here, happy birthday. She's like, well, where's my card? I'm like, <laughs> what about all this? And she's like, no, where's my card? Or walking and around in your card. Yeah. <laughs> and that, and those are the, that's the item that's by Peter's nightstand. That's legitimately true story. The Venmo wow. home marketing is made in heaven. Uh, you know, thank you, Max and Peter, for everything. And, and Max, um, all your advocacy with Ukraine. Yes, I just want to say that before Appreciate we leave. Um, TBL mm -hmm. Nation, make sure to check out the Hallmark and Venmo cards at Hallmark.com. Thanks again, Max and Peter. Congrats. We'll be right back. Elsa. <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome back. We've got some great products from our friends at Morning Save. Check them out. Steph, what do you have for us today? Hey, Tori. Hi, DBL Nation. We are so excited to show you the deals today. They are fabulous like this. Let's check it out. We have got the True and Tidy Spray 360 Clean Everywhere Spray Mop Kit. Ooh. So this deal includes one mop, one flat mop head, one flat microfiber mop pad, one round mop head, one round mop pad, and one squeegee mop head. Oh. So normally this is $50. Okay. We've got it today for just $24.99. That is saving 50%. Now check out this, Tori. This is the Cuisinart 11 piece forever stainless steel cookware set. So this deal includes a two quart saucepan with a lid, a three quart saucepan with a straining lid, Ooh. a three quart saute pan with a helper handle and lid, an eight quart stock pot with a lid, an eight inch skillet, a 10 inch skillet, and a steamer insert. Get out of here. Normally it's five hundred and ninety dollars but we've got it for just a hundred and forty nine ninety nine that's saving you guys seventy five percent we've also got the black and decker deluxe vacuum sealer set oh wow so this deal includes one vacuum sealer with 25 quart bags and 25 gallon bags so normally this is eighty dollars okay we've got it for 29.99 that's saving 63 percent now last and definitely not least today we've got letter vegan leather tassel pull camera cross body whoa so this deal includes one bag we've got it available in these beautiful five love colors. these colors Steph. and normally it's 61 dollars okay we've got it for 15 that's saving 75 percent and they are so cute i love these head on over to morningsave.com to snag these amazing deals at the lowest prices or you can even scan the qr code on screen to take you directly to these products on morning saves website thanks so much steph all right, before we go, Ryan Seacrest is preparing for his new gig. Ryan is taking over for longtime Wheel of Fortune host Pat Sajak, who is retiring after this season. Ryan told GMA he's a big fan of the show. Let's watch. Now, were you the kind of person who would watch and play from the couch? And, and how good were you? We if were. You <laughs> yeah, you still are. Still am. I'm shouting out the puzzles, and my dog is staring at me. I'm also practicing the hosting part, too, in my living room, just to make sure I've got the rules down. Yeah. He's going to be great. I think he's going to be great. He's perfect for that. Remember, me and Al just went to a baseball game and we yeah. were driving by, you know, the apartment building. I don't want to say the name right across the street. Mm -hmm. And remember when we used to practice in there before we started yeah. the show? Yeah. I was yeah. just talking about that yesterday. I think about that a lot, actually. That's yeah. nuts. Do you remember yeah. that? We, it, we, we were did. forming the show. Yeah, yeah, we were like, here's the camera. It was yeah. crazy. Yeah. All right. Walk around like this. <laughs> <laughs> I remember.